If you're looking for ways to make your photographs really, really pop and your images really stand out as you give your presentation or use them on social media, but without spending hours editing the photos in a photo editing suite, I have a trick for you. Hey, welcome to another Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name is Leron Segev, where I make technology simple. And today, it's all about making your images pop, your images stand out. And funny enough, it's not a inside the image that we're looking at, but it's actually around it. Now I teamed up with a company called AutoFX who very kindly sponsored this video, so two thumbs up for them. We're looking at their system called the Photographic Edges, and I'm gonna show you how with a couple of clicks, you can change your images. Right, so here's the software. It's pretty simple, straightforward interface. And I'm gonna show you how simple it is to transfer a simple picture into something that looks like a work of art. So under the effects preset, you've got a whole bunch to choose from. You can basically scroll down until you find one that kind of mirrors the effect that you're going for. So let me show you what that looks like. We're gonna select one from here. Uh, yeah, this one looks pretty cool. And that is it. All you gotta do is wait and ta-da, the image is transformed. So now it looks like a watercolor painting see how different it makes the image and immediately takes it to another level now you can see the layers are there if you don't like it simply click on it and press the delete button and choose another one right I like this option where I can have multiple pictures within one picture this way I can really bring out the subject so I select multiple frames and now all I've got to do is click on this little camera button this one and then select the image that I want to swap out and simply choose another image Now, of course, I can adjust each image to make sure it fits beautifully into the frame. And now I'm thinking, um, yeah, we need a different background because the yellow background with the yellow BMW i8 doesn't really make it pop. So let's select a different background. Click on background. Now you have a couple of options there as well. So everything gives you options. And now simply select whether you want a gradient, whether you want um, textures, mixtures of colors, Okay, that looks much better. Now I've got my four images, I've got a nice background, and I'm pretty happy with that result. Right, let's just do one more example. So here's a stock photo that I've purchased, and now I wanna be able to zhuzh it up a bit, make it a little bit, something a little bit different so that it doesn't instantaneously be recognized as a stock photography, stock photo image that everybody else uses. So I simply select a different frame, a different border, a different edge, and I can really spice it up to look something different. And there we go. So the same image now has just got some different edging, some different borders to it. And just with a couple of clicks, you can get something that looks very, very different to your normal stock photography that you buy online. What I do like about the software is its, its simplicity. You select your image, you select some presets, and basically you play until you find the right image and you don't need to be able to edit your photos. You don't need some complicated photo editing package to be able to get these desired effects. And I think that's what really makes it really cool. Anybody can basically use it. So thank you for watching another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy, where I make technology simple. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new here, share this video with other people who might need this kind of help, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. Cheers for now.